Hey guys, Mr. Mac here with another art lesson. Today we're going to be looking at work inspired by one of my favourite artists, Vasily Kandinsky. He's a Russian artist and he was credited with basically creating abstract art or being one of the first people to, to really bring abstract art to the forefront. Um, you can see he does all these cool lines and shapes. So we're going to create a really colourful abstract piece today inspired by his composition number 8, which is the one I'm showing you now. So we're going to be creating that watercolour look today with felt tip pens uh, and water like I showed you in a, a previous watercolour video. Um, so it's really nice and low mess this art lesson. Uh, you'll also need a uh, pencil, ruler, draw some straight lines, a few different shaped circles to draw around or you can use a pair of compasses, uh, paint brushes, water, uh, you might need a rubber, rub stuff out at the end. Yeah that's about it. So it looked like a lot of stuff but it's actually pretty basic equipment that we're going to need. So we're going to start off by just drawing some lines and then every now and again I'm going to break up the lines with a circle like you'll see. I'm going to speed this bit up so you can just see how I do the whole picture and I'll, I'll talk over it as we go. So if I pop the Kandinsky one up here you can just see to give you an idea about what I'm trying to do. He creates these little grids, these little checkers, circles within circles bunch of lines, triangles, semicircles. You can see how he just sort of layers it all up. That's basically what I'm trying to recreate. So that's enough lines for now. We could always add more later. Um, I've just made sure I've got my spare piece of paper under my sketchbook so it doesn't bleed through. And then I'm just going to start using the felt tip pens to colour in some of the areas. I'm not going to colour in everything. I'm just picking out the key shapes, uh, choosing a bunch of nice bright colours and again not even all the shapes like on the grid down on the bottom right I'm just going to colour in a couple of bits of that just so we've got a few splashes of colour around the page a few shapes a few little outlines uh, and then we can move on to creating our background okay so that's enough colour for now I've just grabbed uh, a pipette here, it's just a little thing for picking up water. You could just do this with a brush or you could just like pick some up with your finger and dab it on, doesn't really matter. All it's going to do is, uh, I'm just placing it on where the, the felt tip pens are, they're strongest. And all it's going to do is going to release some of that colour and let it blend outwards in a minute when we start brushing over the page. enough for now we can always add more later so I'm just grabbing a nice clean brush decent size getting it fairly wet uh, and then I'm going to start adding just some water into the background and allowing some of those areas that we wet to just start seeping outwards you'll see the color just starts bleeding out into the areas that we're going to get wet you can pretty much just brush all over the whole page if you're not too worried about the colors mixing but obviously we want to try and avoid the whole thing just going brown or gray uh, so I'm just being a little bit careful about which colours I'm letting bleed into others. But that said, there's plenty of brown on Kandinsky's original painting, so don't worry about it too much. Um, if you want to just grab a big brush and go nuts on it, then feel free and you'll get a nice colourful background. Just, um, you know, you're going to get some brown spots. So I sped it up, you can see I'm just going over the whole thing, making sure I don't leave any gaps. Although, if you want to leave some white gaps to keep them pure white, again, feel free it's absolutely up to you if you do get a bit too much water or a bit too much color in places you don't want to or you get a bit of mud then just use a little tissue and uh, you can just dab those bits off right that's done we're gonna let that dry now for an hour or two and then we'll come back to it with some pens ta-da there it is dry you see the colors have just flattened down they've blended in a bit more if they're not as bright as you wanted you could always repeat that process so you can go back over some of your colours or even add some new colours, wet the page again, blend them out and your colours will start building up brighter. Also different brands of felt tip pen are going to create different um, brightnesses of colour. It just it depends what you're using. These ones I've got at the moment, are they're okay but they're not as good as some other ones that I've used. So all I'm doing now is I'm just grabbing a black felt tip pen and we're going over some of the lines. Obviously, if I press harder, I'm going to get a thicker line. If I press less hard, softer, I'm going to get a, a thinner line. So you can see I'm just trying to vary the thickness of my lines here. 
You can also double up your lines or whatever to try and make them even thicker. See that one there I'm doing double to make that thicker than the other ones. And I'm just going to repeat this for the whole thing and I'm also going to colour stuff, some stuff in. Once I've got all the thick lines that I want I'm also going to grab a thinner black pen or you could use a biro. Uh, I'm just going to go over some of the lines that I want to be a bit thinner. So once you've done your black lines, just think about whether you want to add anything else. If you've got some big blank areas or some areas you think are a little bit boring, just think about adding some extra little lines in there. Have a look at back at Kandinsky's picture and see what he did. I've added a bunch of extra curves, I've added some wiggles, I've added some dots, just to break things up a little bit and make it a bit more interesting. So there we are, that's pretty much done. You could keep going as long as you want really on this. The more lines you add, the cooler it's going to be, but it's completely up to you how far you take it. Don't forget you could have more colours. You don't have to use those felt tip pens. You could do this with colour pencils, you could do this with watercolour pens, you could do this with chalks, it might look, look quite cool. Or if you do have watercolour paints at home, go straight into watercolour paints, I think that'd look great as well. So, have fun, hope you enjoy this, hope you get to try it, if you do, send it to me in the usual ways. Uh, have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.